What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Danielle if you're new here and in today's video we are going to be talking about my journey using the hair supplement Nutrafol. Now I've been using Nutrafol for the past four months and the reason why I've been using Nutrafol is because I suffer from tension alopecia. Now I have my handy dandy phone here um, to let you guys know what tension or traction alopecia is and it is hair loss that's caused by repeatedly pulling on your hair or um, caused by tightly pulled hairstyles. And um, pretty much I was wearing buns for a very long time, right at the top of my head. And that is where my hair loss um, is currently right now. It is just right in the middle of my head and that was caused from all the buns and top knots that I was doing for years. Now I had no clue that I was losing my hair until 2020 when I went to a hairstylist to get a sew in and he was braiding my hair down and he was like, hey, I don't know if you know this, but you're going bald in the middle of your head. He took a picture and I was shocked. I had no clue that the middle of my head was thin and thinning. And of course, you know, I don't see the top of my head um, like that unless I'm looking with a mirror. So I had no clue that I was, my hair was thinning. I had no clue how long it was thinning for. And thus began my journey to kind of, you know, repair my hair and fill in um, that thin spot. Now I, was, I wasn't necessarily doing anything intentional to try to repair my hair. I just stopped bunning. Um, I wore my hair in loose ponytails and I just, I was actually using oil in that spot to, you know, try to um, increase hair growth. And I honestly didn't, I wasn't doing any type of following up with my hair to see if it was um, growing back. And um, yeah, I just kind of left it alone, really. I just, I didn't really look at it. And I, I honestly kind of forgot about it over time. Um, I guess I just kind of prayed and hoped that it would grow back because at the time it wasn't bad. So, you know, I just figured if I stopped bunning my hair and wearing, you know, those top tight buns, my hair would just grow back. I just realized that I can see myself in my mirror and you guys can kind of see my setup. So I have a mirror right there. I have a mirror right there and then I have a mirror in front of me so I can see myself. Um, sorry if that distracts you, but I'm not gonna move. Um, fast forward to 2022 in April, I found my stylist and you know, I went to her and I got a haircut. She took care of my hair, I got a silk press. And um, that's something that I wanna point out. I normally don't straighten my hair. I've been natural for about five or six years and I don't straighten my hair. If I do straighten my hair, it's never really bone straight. So when I straighten my hair, I was able to see, you know, what parts of my hair was thinner than the rest, what was, you know, where the damage was and all that. So after um, I got my hair pressed, I went home and you know, I'm taking pictures all up in the mirror and I decided to take a picture um, of the back of my head just to see how short my hair was. And that's when I saw that my ball spot had grown almost, I don't know, like three times the size. My hair was very, very thin in that um, area and I was really shocked. So after taking that picture, I went to a dermatologist um, just to see what my options were when it came to growing back my hair and she gave me a few options. So the first option was um, I think Rogaine and I've heard of Rogaine before. I've, ho I've heard of like older men using Rogaine um, and I probably would have used Rogan Rogaine but what she told me was that um, if I use Rogaine, I had to continue using Rogaine and if I stopped using it, all that new growth would fall off my head. So that was out of the question. The next option that she gave me was light therapy, which was expensive. So that was out of the question. She also gave me the option of um, injecting steroids into that um, area to stimulate new growth. And I did consider it, but my insurance um, did not cover that. So that was out of the question as well. And then finally, my dermatologist told me about Nutrafol. Um, and that it's a hair supplement and that it it's the only hair supplement that she recommends along with 
a lot of other dermatologists out there so let's get into my experience using Nutrafol so like I said I've been using Nutrafol for about four years and sorry four months and the reason why I'm using Nutrafol is to target the middle of my hair to target my thin spot now let's get into the pros and cons of using Nutrafol some of the cons of using Nutrafol for me is number one the price there were a few options on the website um, when I first, you know, signed up, um, like different like subscription plans and stuff like that. I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure what subscription plan I chose, but in the end, I'm, I ended up paying seventy nine dollars per bottle. This is how the bottle looks. Um, in total, it has one hundred and twenty pills for one month. If you do the math, that means you're taking four pills a day for 30 days, which honestly doesn't sound that bad, but another con is the size of the pill. So this is the size of one of the vitamins, and to be honest, I think this is kind of big. Um, it's just the capsule, and it's packed with all the ingredients that I guess targets, you know, hair growth. And this brings me to my third con, which is that um, you have to take all four pills at one time. The directions specifically say take four capsules once daily with a meal. So I have to take all four pills, if you guys can see that, I have to take all four pills at once and that's not fun. I guess it has gotten easier over time, but it can be a headache um, to know that you have to take all four pills at once and the pills are so big. Some of the pros of using Nutrafol, I would say, is that it actually does work. Even though it does take time, I've read a bunch of reviews that, you know, the vitamins do work. You just have to kind of stick to it. So the bottle reads that this is physician formulated to multi-target key roots cause that compromise hair health. It's clinically shown to increase hair growth and improve hair quality in women. And I can definitely say the quality of my hair has improved. Um, I have naturally thin hair. Um, I have been going to a hairstylist regularly, but I wanna say that the vitamins have helped the shine of my hair, the texture of my hair, and I do think overall my hair is a little bit fuller. So I've been including pictures throughout this video, but I know you guys wanna see what my hair looks like now. So I'm just gonna flip my head over and show you guys the area that has been thinning and what it looks like right now. All right, so this is the area that has been thinning. Um, like I said, it's right in the middle of my head because this is where I would just do my buns. And from the pictures that I've been putting up on the screen to you know what's what you guys are seeing right now it does look like my hair is growing um, that you know it does look thicker in that area it's not as sparse I mean it is thin but I'm not as self-conscious to wear my hair like in a middle part or anything or if the wind blows and my hair flips over I'm not as self-conscious um, with this area being exposed so like I said, it's been four months that I've been taking Nutrafol, and this these this is my results as of now. Um, and I think the results are very visible um, compared to the pictures and the videos inserted in um, this video. Um, you can definitely see that some change has occurred over the past couple of months. All right, so now that I've messed up my hair, I guess it's time to wrap this video. But I just wanted to come on here real quick and just chat about my journey. I don't really see too many videos about, you know, people using Nutrafol. So I just wanted to come on here really quick and talk about, you know, my experience in the past four months. 